So everybody's got it. Everybody's got it. What is it that everybody has? Everybody has faith. There's a myth in our culture that people are of faith are Christians or a certain other type of religion. When reality is, everybody has faith. Let's look at what faith is in Hebrews 11, 1. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Faith comes from us wanting something to exist that we're hoping for, but we can't really prove. And then over time, as we practice it, our faith, because it changes our actions, we become more and more sure of what we do not see. A Lot of Nights was written in, in Lebanon, Pennsylvania, uh, at a Friendly's. In fact, I have my own booth there. Those of you that remember Cheers, I'm the norm of Friendly's in Lebanon, if that means anything. And we've been writing there, I've been writing in that booth for many, many years, all kinds of books and lessons for men. And in the last year or so, I've had a problem. And the problem is that across the restaurant, two gentlemen have started to meet every day uh, for breakfast. And these two guys are the Statler and the Wardorf of the Muffets. You know those guys up there that just complain and fight all the time? That's what occurs. And since neither one of them can really hear one another, it's loud. In fact, a lot of times I have to put my music on to continue to write or read my Bible because uh, otherwise I get too distracted. The other day I was walking by these gentlemen and the one gentleman noticed my night shirt on and he said to me, hey, tell me about nights. And I talked with him about manhood and nights and where he could attend him and his friend a knighthood chapter. At which case he, uh, wanting to start the typical argument with his buddy, said, hey, I believe in God and he doesn't. And he's 88 years old and he's never going to believe in God. At which case I shared with them what I just shared with you. You guys are both people of faith. He's a person of faith and doesn't believe God exists. And you're a person of faith. And hopefully by loving him and practicing your faith, he can see what your faith does for you. You and I are people of faith. The question is, what do we have faith in? And then after that, how do we practice our faith so that our faith gets stronger, that it becomes something more that we can rely upon so that when people look at how we express our faith, there's an attractiveness to it that their faith doesn't provide them. Let us pray. God, I just pray that you will strengthen my friend's faith. Provide them experiences and, and ways of integrating your word into their lives that, that they just fully can rely more and more upon you as, as they practice their faith and they know you're there. And then, God, also give them opportunities to share their faith with other people of faith. And may we live out our faith in such a way that they can see the love of Christ through us in how we make decisions. We need you, God. We want to hope for something. And having hope in who you tell us we are and in hope in having hope in the, in the guidance you give us is such a blessed way to live. Thank you for being present in our lives in this way. Amen. Now remember, God is quite the conversationalist. So talk and listen to God today.